All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, do we have hard-working farmers producing food in this country? Yes, we do. But we have a very large population, a population of over 200 million people. For us to be able to meet our food demand by ourselves, without importing some of it to support our local production, then our production capacity must be times 20 of what it is right now. If not, we will have serious inflation. And that is what is happening in this country right now. Our inflation has hit 31.7% and Nigerians are starving. But despite the starvation, Tinubu came out three days ago and he made it very clear that he will not open borders for the importation of food. Instead, he said he had lined up initiatives to encourage farmers to produce more. According to him, over 100 billion has been set aside for the procurement of fertilizers, which would be distributed to farmers. And Nigerian said, Oga, you are clearly missing the point. How about insecurity? Farmers are getting slaughtered in hundreds on their farms by Fulani headsmen. Is fertilizer going to solve that problem? Secondly, farmers' welfare is important. You can't send hungry men to farms. If we open the borders for importation of food to support our local production, prices will fall. And when prices fall, farmers will be happy. And when they are happy, productivity will be enhanced. And while we were yet explaining that, Yoruba farmers came out and told Tinubu how security under his watch has deteriorated disgracefully. They said bandits had taken over their farms and that if the situation continues like this, that famine, great hunger is going to envelop Nigeria. These are the same farmers that you want to give fertilizers. Before I show you how the farmers said it and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this update. Governor Sule to Peter Obi. Support Tinubu with your experience, competence, capacity. Governor Abdullahi Sule of Nasara State has called on Mr. Peter Obi to support Tinubu with his experience, competence, and capacity for the good of the country. Sule said this when Obi visited him on Monday in Lafia, the state capital. The governor, who said that elections were over, maintained that the president needs the support of all Nigerians to move the nation forward. Governor Sule told Obi, I know you have the experience, competence, and capacity to support Tinubu in the overall interest of the country. Tinubu is your friend and colleague. We were all in Lagos at some point. As such, you need to contribute your quota to the development of the country. You can contribute your quota quietly because Tinubu needs all the necessary support to bring the country back on track, Sule said. He said that Tinubu alone cannot address the current challenges confronting the nation. Well-meaning citizens like Obi should support him, Sule added. However, Sule lauded Obi for drilling boreholes in some communities in the state. He added that the gesture had complemented government's efforts toward alleviating the sufferings of the people. Now, that was the governor of Nasarawa State, Governor Sule saying that Peter Obi should use his competence and integrity and capacity to help Tinubu. He was indirectly saying there that this administration has nothing to offer. Governor Sule, where were you when the mandate was being stolen? Did you speak up? And how do you expect a Peter Obi who is clean and spotless to work with the criminals in this administration? First of all, you have seen the 2024 budget. The budget is a budget of the elite. Several billions of Naira are located for frivolities. Then look at the 3.7 trillion Naira budget pardon fraud that just came up. How is Obi supposed to work with such people? Look at the student loan initiative that was stolen from Obi's manifesto. Look at how they have made a mess of it. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet from Ola Milekon says, Support him in what capacity? Assistant supporting president, Unade Craze. Shebi Tinubu na master strategist. Abino being built, Lagos. Mm. And this tweet by Aie Mojuba says, So a licensed pilot should stand alongside a downfall driver in a hijacked plane, guiding them on which button to press? Clowns. Mm. What an analogy. 
and this tweet here says does that mean tinubu does not have experience or competence talk less of having the capacity to lead the country i think the advice should be reframed oh and this tweet here says these agbadorians are funny a lot i almost laughed in spanish i'm telling you and this tweet by high priest says for the first time a man will steal a vehicle and come out boldly using all medium to call on the owner to teach him how to drive as a confirmation that he can't drive because this is the second time they are telling peter obi to come and tell them what to do and this tweet by voice of the voiceless says let me ask sule this question if a criminal stole your car will you support him to drive the car likewise if a criminal stole your mandate will you support him that is it my brother and this tweet by olu ime says so you know say tinubu no get the competence and capacity tears mm. now let us look at what southwest farmers said to tinubu obviously bandits have been having a few day in that region they have taken over their farms look at how the papers reported it bandits have taken our farmlands we can no longer harvest farmers tell fg farmers in the southwest region of the country have lamented the killings and wanting destruction by bandits who have taken over their farmlands saying the development threatened planting season in a save our soul message to tinubu on sunday the farmers warned that farming may hit the southwest region if the persistent killings and kidnapping of farmers for ransom go unchecked the national president of the cocoa and plantain farmers association of nigeria ayodele ojo who spoke on behalf of the farmers lamented that bandit activities have made farming a dangerous venture for the locals mr ojo observed that farmers in the states such as ogun ekiti oshun and ondo including neighboring edo communities with big farms could no longer access their crops for harvesting due to fear of banditry in their respective areas we are in a very difficult situation now because we cannot visit our farms said mr ojo many of us have not been to farms for weeks now because of the fear of being kidnapped by these terrorists they are marauding on our farmlands mr ojo alleged that the bandits now control many farmlands harvesting their produce unchallenged and grazing some of their cattle oh these people kidnap farmers for ransom and if any farmer fails to pay he can be killed we need security agencies to come to our aid our means of livelihood are now being threatened and our lives are in danger even our children can't follow us to the farm again they are now scared of getting killed or watching their parents being abducted by these bandits we are asking tinubu to attend to this issue urgently he stated mr ojo said the farmers outrightly rejected the creation of grazing zones for the herders across the country he stated that the advice given by mr tinubu to the governors to provide land for grazing in their respective states to address the protracted farmers headers crisis in the country will be resisted by the farmers how can you be talking about harboring this kind of criminals near these farmers there is no way they are going to accept it these are the same farmers that they are saying you are you have a marked 100 billion naira to buy fertilizers for so that they can go to farms and produce it's not about fertilizers alone these people are being killed their lives are in danger these are the issues that nigerians are asking government to address before you begin to talk about production at that capacity and look at how nigerians reacted look at some of the tweet reactions and this tweet by ademola oduola says bandits have formed their own government that is it because they will take over somebody's farm and remain there harvesting grazing their cattle it means they are not even scared security forces are not showing up aren't they working in tandem and this tweet here says they are busy destroying villages in the south they don't have time for farmers now let the food security worsen it is not their concern yeah yeah country i am telling you yeah yeah country and this tweet by odesami says it is not grains from ukraine that we want we need security to grow the grains ourselves that is it but these men don't even care about the lives of farmers every time they come on air it is just propaganda propaganda more propaganda and this tweet here says are those not the farmer 100 billion fertilizer will be shared to 
address insecurity when they share fertilizer where them no fit use for farm. That is it. That is it. People are scared to go to farms. And this tweet here says, How I wish Tinubu would give defense headquarters, chief of defense staff, full authority to bring this bandit to justice like he's giving them authority over Delta soldier killers. That is it. You know, we keep saying it. How did Nigeria deteriorate to this point in terms of insecurity? It is because of the APC. These are the people they brought to this country as militia to fight Jonathan if he didn't give up power. And as soon as Jonathan congratulated Buhari and there was no fight, they became confused on what to do with these people. And that is the genesis of this level of security in this country. This is why combating it, fighting it is difficult for them because they are the ones that brought these guys. And that is why I keep saying that Nigeria will not know freedom. Nigeria will not know peace. The relative freedom and peace that we used to have before the APC, we will never know again until we come together and get these guys out of power. But until then, make I still enter town. <laughs> make I go get some Ogbonge political news where we go like. Why? Because now, because of now, now I did here, so don't go away. <laughs>